The next Samsung Unpacked event is scheduled for July 26. We will definitely broadcast it. It is expected that the Korean giant will present the Galaxy Fold 5, Galaxy Flip 5 and Galaxy Watch 6 series, as well as the likely Galaxy Tab S9 line. As far as we know, the latter will consist of three tablet models, Tab S9, Tab S9 Plus and Tab S9 Ultra. According to the new leak, the basic Tab S9 will cost €929 Euros for the Wi-Fi 8 plus 128GB model and €1,049 Euros for the 12 plus 256GB Wi-Fi model. It is expected that the Tab S9 Plus will cost €1,149 Euros for the Wi-Fi 12 plus 256GB model, while the Tab S9 Ultra will cost €1,369 Euros for the same Wi-Fi model 12 plus 256GB. Interestingly, we also expect that there will be more expensive versions of the tablet with SIM card support. In addition, prices will probably vary from market to market due to different NDS, although it should be noted that audio prices already include NDS. As for the specifications, we expect that the Tab S9 Ultra will have a 14.6-inch display dynamic AMOLED 2X XKA+, up to 16GB of RAM and up to 1TB of RAM. The battery capacity is 11,200mAh with 45W charging. As for the cameras, there should be a dual 12MP front camera and a dual 8MP plus 13MP rear camera. The Tab S9 Plus will have a 12.4-inch display dynamic AMOLED 2X XKA+, up to 12GB of RAM and 512GB of built-in memory. The battery capacity is 10,490mAh. The cameras include a single 12-megapixel selfie and a 13-megapixel plus 8-megapixel rear camera. Finally, the basic Tab S9 should have a 11-inch display dynamic AMOLED 2X XKA+, up to 12GB of RAM and 256GB of built-in memory. The battery capacity is 8,400mAh. The camera should include a 12-megapixel selfie and a 13-megapixel rear camera. It is expected that all three tablets will be equipped with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset for the Galaxy, a fingerprint scanner, for speakers and S Pen support. Also, as a new addition, there will probably be IP68 dust and water protection. So you can use these tablets in the bathroom or in the pool. Four years have passed since Samsung released its first device with a folding display Galaxy Fold. Samsung's biggest competitor, Apple, is yet to join this advanced market segment. And it seems that Apple has already begun to discuss the details of the deal on the purchase of Samsung folding displays. In a new report, it is argued that Samsung will eventually become the main supplier of Apple folding displays. However, there is a possibility that the first Apple device with this technology will not be the iPhone. According to Business Korea, with a reference to an unnamed source in the industry, Apple is now negotiating with folding display suppliers to release a folding MacBook. It is assumed that Apple plans to introduce its first folding laptop in 2025 and will release it for sale in 2026. Apple is allegedly negotiating with several folding display manufacturers. The Samsung display is the most likely and will benefit the most from the new cooperation with the American technological giant. Apple releasing a folding MacBook based on a Samsung display will almost certainly increase the popularity of folding devices. And, in turn, Samsung's production unit will receive crazy income and even more trust from the industry. It is reported that Samsung Display decided to invest $3.1 billion in folding OLED panels with a large screen for their mass production in 2025 and 2026. This step, apparently, confirms the idea that Apple will develop a MacBook with a folding display in the next few years. However, when it comes to breakthrough technologies, Apple is not in a hurry and spends years at the stage of prototyping and design. Again, the company still has to build a folding iPhone, so rumors that it is developing a folding laptop may seem too ambitious. But, if we assume that the company really decides that its first device equipped with a folding display should be a revolutionary MacBook. And if Apple releases it in the next few years, its strategy will probably create a new, rapidly developing market segment. Probably, such a MacBook will cost about $10,000, but who cares? By the way, about the prices. It turns out that Apple will start mass production of the iPhone 15 series in August. This was said by Jeff Tohi of Hightown International Tech Research. By the end of 2023, the company plans to produce 84 million devices. This figure is 12% higher than the number of iPhone 14s produced in the second half of last year. 
This also shows that Apple is absolutely confident that demand for a new series of iPhones this year will be higher. In part, this opinion is associated with a large number of active iPhone users, which have not been updated to the new model in the last four years. Some analysts expect that a large percentage of these users, who represent a hidden demand, will finally be ready for an upgrade this or next year. But there is potentially bad news on the horizon for those who are interested in the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Analysts predicted that the starting price of the iPhone 15 Pro Max will be higher than that of the 14 Pro Max, which is $1, 100 in the United States and 1 euro, 450 in Europe. But, unlike the previous years, the iPhone 15 Pro Max will have one exclusive feature that will not be on other models. This exclusive Pro Max feature is an optical zoom lens. We expect that this year non-pro models will receive a dynamic island and a 48-megapixel camera on the rear panel. Pro models will have a case with titanium sides and an action button that will replace the sound switch. The iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max will run on a 3-nanometer A17 Bionic processor and will become the only smartphones on a 3-nanometer chip this year. There are rumors that all four models of the iPhone 15 will receive an increased battery capacity, and the entire line will have a USB-C port where there used to be a proprietary lightning port. Apple has not yet announced the date of the official presentation, but we expect it to take place in early September. We can also expect to see new Apple Watch Series Z and Apple Watch Ultra of the second generation at this event. It is expected that the new generation of AirPods will not be part of the September event. As soon as Apple announces the date of the upcoming event, we will definitely inform you about it. So don't go far, subscribe, like and write comments. Good luck to everyone.